Hello monkeys, it is Miss Sam again, and today I want to share a story with you called Exploring Seeds, because it is Mother's Day week, and we are learning a lot about mothers, but it is also the last month of spring, and in spring, we have a lot of growing plants and sprouting seeds. I hope you learned something cool from this book. I see seeds. Seeds are parts of plants. Seed, seedling, plants. At the bottom, we have the roots. Then out from the seed in the roots sprouts a seedling. And then the seedling grows into a full plant with a stem, leaves, and flower buds. Each seed can become a new plant. Seeds need water and soil to grow. Seeds crack open in the ground. They send roots down into the soil. Stems from the seeds go up into the sunlight. Soon, leaves and flowers will grow. Foods we eat form around the flowers and the leaves. People plant seeds on farms and in gardens. Seeds are also blown by wind and moved by water. Seeds grow in pine cones. Plums have large seeds inside called pits. People can eat seeds. Sunflower seeds are good snacks. You can eat the yellow seeds of a corn plant. Seeds are on your plate, in the ground, and all around you. Do you see seeds? How seeds move. Seeds move in many ways. The seeds of coconuts float on water. The seeds of maple trees have wings. Wind spreads these seeds. Burrs are seed holders. They stick to animal fur. When the animal travels, so do the burrs. Chestnuts can travel this way. Nuts and berries are eaten by animals. The seeds are left behind in animal droppings. Seed facts. Poppy seeds are used in muffins. They are small, tasty seeds. Many people roast pumpkin seeds and eat them in the fall. Strawberries have seeds on the outside of the fruit. The outer layer of a seed is called a seed coat. Seed coats can be thick or thin. Some seeds are not safe to eat. The seeds of a lily of the valley plant can change how fast your heart beats. Some seeds Stay in the ground for a long time. They need the right amount of water, warmth, and sunlight to sprout. Scientists found a seed that sprouted after 2,000 years. The end. Thank you guys so much for listening to our book about exploring seeds. I hope you learned something interesting and stay tuned for another learning book tomorrow. Mwah! Bye guys.